Ponce here, Harbor Freight Mini Mill CNC project. Today I'm planning how I will, or where I will place the ball screw and where the ball nut will fit in order to uh, move the Z axis up and down. So what I've done is taken the head apart. I took the motor, I took the motor and the DC speed control off of the, the casting. I made it light so that way I can, I can move this up and down and see things. So some of the conversions, they put the, the ball nut on the side and then they have this huge lever arm, this torque that occurs what I don't like about that is that you have to have a little bit of free play in the ways. So if you look, um, it results in, if you're pulling on the side, as you go up and down, you're actually gonna have a little uh, rocking of the head side to side, which isn't good for accuracy or precision or chatter or anything. So my first, Look at this says that it should be possible to fit the, <clears throat> the ball screw inside the column. I tilt it like this, you can see that, you know, this is completely hollow on the inside. And this sort of fits. There's, there's some cast ribs in the inside that are in the way, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be much to clearance it out. Uh, so if I if I make a a slot in this metal on my on my manual mill um, about the length of eleven inches um, then I can have off of the ball nut, I can build a bracket and use the mount holes, and all that would be inside of here. But then I could have a little arm that comes out through here, and this would come out through the slot that would be in the middle. So that's what I'm looking at today to see if, if that can be where the Z axis screw goes. It would really make the greatest conversion. Some of the higher end SIG2 mills, the CNC ones actually, I think the Precision Matthews one actually does have, I've seen at least some conversions where they do do that. Um, I'm gonna make that my goal here first. Uh, before I cut anything, I wanna be pretty sure that that'll work. Um, so that's it for my video right now, um, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for listening.